Good afternoon, morning, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is another VR special of me in Project Cars 2 because I had so much fun with the last one that uh, I decided to have a crack at it again. Why not? <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I don't want to commit to a return to the to doing a regular series because I just don't know if I'm going to have time to, to commit to doing it. So that's why I'm just kind of keep stick, sticking with these kind of one-off specials for now so let's see what the randomizer is going to give me this time for this episode it is going to if it has really gone wrong it's going to be oh wow what a combination no point doing two night races we'll do um heavy fog in the day i guess give me half a chance the f40 and the c7r at Texas Motor Speedway Road Course against the NMP 2016 the modern stock car and the Indy cars. Oh, wow, I'm going to be mullered. But, uh, yeah, that should be fun. Yes, please. Uh, oh, and there's that bug again that causes my mouse to stick to the top left corner of the screen. Don't know why that happens, but it does. Okay. Oops, oh, I don't need to do that. Okay, so just double check that this is how I left it. Oh, it's not working. There we go. Yeah, that is how I left it. Uh, Ferrari F40. Where are you? There you are. Beautiful beast, you. Yeah, that's pretty much as I left it. Against the NMP 1216s, modern stock car. Uh, oh, and the IndyCar. Quite apt for Texas, or certainly two of those uh, selections would be. Now I'm using the Vive microphone, so instead of my uh, instead of my Yeti, because using the Yeti when I'm doing driving stuff just picks up all the rumble of the steering wheel. So. Oh, I forgot to change track. That's still too high. Whoops. And I forgot to change the weather as well. So at the time of recording, I have just not long finished doing my super hot recording. And I'm still pretty boiling hot and sweaty from that. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, that get, it's a lot of fun, but it's really, really hard. Because um, I flew through some of the levels because I've done them before. But I'm getting to a point now where... It's going to be new for me. And that, that game is really difficult, but it is good. Let's just come out of this. Set this up properly. Oh, do I want to run... Do I want to run the Ferrari in the wet? Hmm, the Corvette's going to handle the wet better, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just do... Road course... In thunderstorm in the dark with the Corvette. Oh, love the noise of this car. Okay, that should be right. Let's go. I don't think I'll be getting anywhere near those times. <laughs> Oh, I was going to change the uh, HUD layout as well. I was thinking of taking some of the elements off the uh, the HUD, like the map, for instance, I I'm finding, because things are quite blurry, or text is quite blurry in VR. Um, not that I'm overly worried about that. Okay. Recenter. What have we got then? Eight Indy cars. Should be eight, eight, eight. Eight and a B, nine GT9, nine GTEs, and seven Michael Schumacher's. And I am at the back of the GTEs. That's fine. What have we got in the GTEs? Uh, we've got oh LMPs. If we're going to remember these, Audi, Audi, Porsche, Toyota, I think. Audi, Audi, Porsche, Toyota, Ferrari, Aston, 
Aston, Corvette, Ford. A lot of Corvettes, it looks like. All right. Need to recenter. Oh, hoy! Ah, a lot of spray. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, I really can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see. Oh, yeah, I've been really, really cautious. Oh, I probably should have been a little bit more cautious than that. That netting is a bit of a pain. Whoa, a mile away from the apex. The slipstream of an Aston. But it's, oh, it's kicking up a lot of spray. I think that's an Aston. Oh, it's a BMW, I think. It's quite interesting watching the uh, recording I did with Hamish back. And just, oops. Oh, and how different it feels to what the user sees, so to speak. Lots of water, lots of water, lots of water. Whoa, not turning enough. I know, oh dear, I know in these circuits are a lot about um, drafting, but when you've got a face full of spray, oh, that's good tyres. Okay, it wasn't through the tyres, <coughs> into the tyres. Back to last in class. Oh, I keep wanting to turn in too early. Oh dear, that didn't go well. Nice stock cars. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to do this in the Ferrari. The F40 is uh, a lively beast at the best of times. Stock cars aren't slow. No. Yeah. That's a bit better. Oh, no, dear. Okay, don't. I don't expect to ever do that again. Just following the line, well, as much as I can see through all the spray. Oh, hi! <laughs> One thing I don't have is proxy arrows. Or a spotter. Oops. Wow, I'm really struggling to see when I'm that close to the turn of another car. Oh, 
Is that a... Oh no, that's another stock car. I thought I was catching up with the GTE then. Bad chance. Having driven, you know, every car and every track. Well, not every car on every track. That would take a uh, phenomenal amount of time. But, you know, having driven at least every car once and every track once in a flat screen configuration, it really does take some getting used to. I'm sure if I tried the same combinations I've done in VR on flat, oops, ow, I would be considerably quicker just because that's what I'm much more used to. I mean, yes, I could. I mean, I could technically drive from up here, which would seem really weird. No, that's the old view I used to use. Which is really weird. It's like your head stuck through, you know, your head glued to the bonnet. It's like a bonnet ornament or something. I am curious, I'm just going to try a few laps like this. It feels really, really weird. You do see a lot more. I mean, it ruins the, whoops, it ruins the immersion factor. Somewhat. I mean, I think if I was going to use an external view, I would have to go with that one. Oh, messing about with the view so much that... Missed the breaking point entirely. Whoa! How are your brakes still glowing? You can't be driving with the brakes on. Or you you shouldn't be. Let's not mess about. Let's, let's do this game as it's supposed to be driven, which is here. Whoops, I just smacked into him. Doing my usual thing, being distracted by the details. Wow, a bit of a log jam. Oh, big splash of water there. Ironically, though, I did feel a bit more confident when I was on my old view, this one. I need to take the map away. Whoops. Ow, oh, come on, stock cars. Oh, there's the NMPs coming to lap me. It just looks too strange to do that now. In the car. I think because I've done a few laps you know, in car now, I don't think I could revert to that external view. Can't see. Down to draw the spray. Literally can't see. Oh, somebody alongside me. It's a Porsche, I think. Yep, that's one of the Porsche NMP1 hybrids. Oh, wow. Either IndyCar and a Toyota. Whoa. 
I love the sound of this Corvette. Always have, always will. I thought that was someone facing the wrong way then. That's actually someone's headlights coming towards me. Whoa! <laughs> That was a weird looking backwards to my right for a car that was passing on the left. Well, of course, you think about it, and of course it would. This is quite a weird combination of movements to do. There we go. Very, very much last. <laughs> oh, that's something knocked over on my desk. <sighs> Whew. That was tricky. That was a very, very tricky. And I don't think it's going to get any easier with the F40. Nope, wrong one. Uh, this one was heavy fog in the day. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be... This car is a handful of the best of times. Well, we'll give it a go. We will give it a go. Old Man 53 VR. <laughs> 120.560. Don't think I'm going to get close to that. Need a lot more practice in VR to start to get proficient with it. But then if I think back to when I started, you know, back in PCARS 1, back with the Bluster Bay Challenge, you know, I had all the driver aids on, and even if the car didn't have it, and the racing line on. So, I guess I've just got to give myself a chance. Let's go. Hundred litres of fuel. That stuff did absolutely dead last. Quite a few road cars. Whoa! Excuse me, Jaguars. Or oh, Aftons and Jaguars. Can be a bit brave on the brakes in this car. Oops. Hit the Jag. Oh, nice seat. Oh, hi. Okay, I can plant the brakes a bit more than I could in the in the wet. Ah. Sorry, Mustang. I mean, by rights, I should be looking down here to see what the the gazes are doing, but I can't read them properly. Oh, oh dear. One of the stock cars off into the grass. Wow, there's a cater in the head of the stock cars. Nice. <laughs> this Ferrari is not as bad as I remember it. Oh, dive bomb. Bounce off the mountain stock car. Fella. 
Yeah, I don't expect to be keeping up with the stock cars, but I should blast past this little catering here. Who I'm going to struggle to deal with in the corners as I punch him in the face. Whoa, ball. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the apron. Oh, it gets dangerous then. Get him back on track. Really concentrating on this one. Also, the other thing that's not only are the gauges difficult to kind of focus on in VR for me, but I have to kind of duck under the zoom bit to uh, see what the dials are saying. So that's why I'm relying on the uh, one in the bottom right hand corner. Seven ahead of Robert, it looks like Lindstrom, I think. Back there somewhere in the park. Oh, you want something to induce motion sickness? Look backwards at a high speed. That'll do it. Oh. Managed to bounce off the wall. <laughs> Partying road game. Whoa! Right, I'm going to do a lap in the old view. Whoa, which feels really weird. Oh wow, that ducks to hell a lot. You really notice that more on the uh, bonnet cam. No, I can't do it. Really can't do it now. And that's not me being leetish, it's just it doesn't feel right. As before, I was very accustomed to how it felt and, and what have you. It just in VR, it just doesn't work. I'm sure if I persisted, I probably could make it work, but then part of me doesn't want to because I want to, you know, do it as it was meant to be run. No, it's not going to make that. Oh, again, managed to. Oh, lucky bounce off the wall. Whoa. Oh, no. Didn't do that well. Cut that a little bit. Oh, clunk. Not that far ahead of the rest of the pack. Oh, I looked in the rearview mirror and wandered off the line. Two and a half minutes to go. I guess. Whoa! That's a problem with heavy fog. You can't see the apex properly. Until really, it's too late. A bit wide, maybe. Oh, 
Wow, there's an apex there somewhere. Oh, way too early. Way too early. Lovely car though. In more course than I probably need be. This is a fog. Wow, this thing's difficult to slow down. One more lap, I'm assuming. I don't know at what point the lead has crossed the line. I've got four seconds between me and the rest of my class. Yeah. Whoops. Off the wall. Ah. Whoa! Oops, that's neutral. Jaguar, I think, chasing the case whip. Oh! A nudge there from what I think was a Mustang. I not see it too clearly in the fog. Really must stop looking backwards at that. It was actually giving me a bit of motion sickness, that is. Can I nail these guys before the line? I shouldn't think so. Okay, you're going to slow down and go into the pits. Fair enough, works for me. I'll take the uh, class win then. Whew. Oh, that is a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. Let's do what we did last time. Let's have another selection on the randomizer. Whew. Let's see what it's going to give me this time. This time it's going to be a Ferrari again. Oh, the Oldsberg. As your circuit. Oh, my goodness me. You mad. A GT1 at Monaco. Uh, all right. <laughs> Why not? Let's give it a try. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> it's the first time I've tried uh, rally crossing in VR. That's certainly true. Right. So, Ferrari F50. There it is. 
uh, against the track day A, the vintage F3A, and group 5. Okay. Oh, that's your circuit. Why? Oh, white cloud at night. How much more difficult for myself can I make this? Shush, steering wheel. My steering wheel does that thing where it just sits there and rocks backwards and forwards really quickly on the uh, center point. Three A and group five. Group five, where is it there? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay. Auto Club Monaco has the record for this car here. I'm sure I'm going to be bouncing off the walls rather a lot. Visual damage is off, so my headlights are intact. I hope so, anyway. Or well, this could get even worse. Those poor little F3s, well, the uh, little Formula Ford things, pretty much going to get run over. Try to AAs, depends on which ones we get. I forgot what the other one was. Uh, what was it? Well, GG1's obviously in my class. Uh, what was the other class again? Oh, Group 5, yeah. Uh, I don't think they're going to be very well suited to here. Because they need time to get going, and it's exactly what they won't get on this track. Oh, that's a very weird graphical effect going on there. Wow, that's a lot of wheel spin. What a noise, though. Someone bouncing off the walls. Oops, me killing one of my GT fellow GT1s. That's a Panos. Lovely sounding car, that is. Oh, don't mind me. Squeezing through. That didn't go well. <laughs> what a noise this car makes when you get away from the taps. Oh. Oh. Bump. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sure I'm going to be trading paint with a lot of walls. Track day A ahead of me, yeah, it is. Oh, hi. Oh, please slow down. Oh, no, too much. up a bit there. Coming into the top part of Mirabeau. Whoops. Not paying attention. <coughs> this is never a good idea here. Oh no. Killed the McLaren. Now I'm in the position back. Wow. Here 
This is going to take a lot of concentration to wrestle this car around here. Uh, he's behind again, it's a really weird kind of... Almost like um, sort of graphical fluctuations in the car. I'd be very curious to see what this looks like in the recording. Running around the wall. Oh, squeeze someone against the wall. Mine class third. That's that Ferrari and that uh, McLaren ahead of me. Kill the McLaren again. Still can't get uh, the bus upright. He smacked into the corner. Whoa. Oh, only just over halfway. Whoa. Oh dear. I've collected someone. It's that McLaren again. Uh oh. That didn't go well. Whoa, dear, this thing's easy to spin. I think I'm last. Oh, I'm fourth, actually. Must be a. I must have caused a bit of a tailback behind me. Kind of got the uh, bus up right. Oh. say matinee, but I don't know if that's right. Casino Square. Mirabeau, or the top part of Mirabeau. And the Grand Hotel. Bottom part of Mirabeau. 48. Oh dear, so someone's, I thought there was someone sat still. Oh no, that's one of the Formula 3s. Let's do the swimming pool. No, uh, not the swimming pool. Ah! Let's do the chicane rather. Bust up chicane. I've forgotten the name of that one. Now it's a swimming pool. 
that there's no swimming pool there anymore, I don't think. Come on, panels off! Oh well, I caught up with my uh, class at least. So I barred my way past that truck day, eh? Come on! Thank you, little Formula 3s. <laughs> Saw that. Thank you all, and I'm going to spin the Mitzi round. Oh dear. Yeah, that's caused a traffic jam up there, all right. That wasn't what I was aiming to do, but I'll take the benefit of it. Oh, it's cleared itself now. Oops. And kill the Formula 3 World Service asset. Oh well. Goodness me, this car. And he takes the podium. <laughs> Whoo! I didn't even look at lap times. Right. Which uh, rally cross circuit was it? Hockenheim. Okay. Hockenheim. Rally cross. Oh, that one. In the Oldsburg. If anything's going to give me motion sickness, it is going to be this. Uh, what? Condition? Rain. Okay. Rain in the day. <laughs> yeah, why not keep the uh, classes on there? There's a little bit of um, tarmac area, I think, in this car. In this track, rather. TV <laughs> no control. Nice. That sounds about uh, me all the time. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to rally cross. Uh, I love this car, though. I love the Oldsberg. One track day A, which is the Zonda. Two of me. Two group fives, a Capri, and... Not sure what that is, a Nissan, possibly. And one Formula 3. Definitely going to need the Rallycross for this one. having to remind myself it's been so long since I've done this. Yeah, the uh, race car's having a bit of trouble. Zonda and the Group 5 pair will catch up with me now. Whoa! Enjoy your little bit of freedom whilst you have it.
Ups, das ist scheiße. This isn't actually anywhere near as bad as I thought it would be. I'm still as bad at it as I thought I would be. As far as sort of motion sickness is concerned, no, not at all. Oh, yeah. Look how that went. I get more, you know, I get that motion sickness feeling when I'm looking backwards. Water gathering! Oh, on that inside line. That's the tyre wall I demolished last time. Oh, more tyres. <laughs> I didn't get it right that time. Oops! That's better. Much better. Say the Joker. The AI won't. Oh, I might be enjoying this somewhat. fast. Oh, no. <laughs> How am I tired of doing? My friend left his freezing cold, is not a surprise. My others are doing okay. And that's five minutes, so halfway now. Oh, there's the little vintage Formula 3. Oh, I did really well two laps ago, that corner, and I can't do it again. Oh dear, I created a bit of a slalom with the uh, tyres there. nearly stopped. I've wandered off the road, the track is over here.
I'm so glad that map's still there. Maybe I'll leave my HUD elements alone. <laughs> It. Oh, killed the stars again. And they've all gone. Fat lot of use to that mirror over there is. Minute to go to an ultimate lap. I had forgotten how much fun this little old bug is. Oh, there's that Formula 3 again. <laughs> He's going onto the grass. I need to be that wide to avoid me to... Oh, there's my uh, other classmates. If I hadn't had the problems early on, I probably would have landed them as well. There we go. I thought I had another lap to do then. Oh, wow. 55.72. Whew. And that is going to be... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Button's going mad. Ah! Why my, Why the buttons are going to crazy? That's why, because the steering wheel wasn't straight. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.